Today I'm going to be Skyping with Kevin Silva in Indiana who, when he's not repairing guitars, is hanging out in his basement with what he claims may be the world's largest Batman collection. Kevin, thanks for joining us. How long have you been collecting Batman stuff? I've been collecting Batman for about 45 years, maybe a little bit more, 46, 47 years. I'm getting old. I've got about 1,600 pieces, in, uh, m mostly pertaining to 1966 when the TV show came out. Um, I'm pretty confident I've got one of the larger collections. That's great. So it was the TV show that inspired you, or what was it? Yeah, oh, absolutely the TV show. Um, I turned five January 6, 1966. The TV show aired January 12, 1966. It made a pretty big impression. My dad uh, worked for RCA and got us a 19-inch color TV uh, for Christmas in 65. So uh, the first images were, uh, were just over the top. So what were some of the things that you first started collecting? Well, it, I, I have items that, that, since I was five. I've got a, a hat, my lunchbox from kindergarten, I had a Batman wall in my bedroom when I was little, and there was so much stuff available when the TV show came out, like all the movies. Every time a movie hits, you know, there's more, more items available. And was there a time where you just stopped collecting, where Batman wasn't cool anymore? You know, I, probably until I was 12 or 13, you know, read a lot of comic books, um, put it away, you know, when you're a teenager, it's not as cool, I guess, but, uh, um, and then when the Michael Keaton movie hit in 1989, just the market was flooded with Batman memorabilia and I had all my stuff boxed up and then got it out and, and started collecting and uh, more and more pieces and uh, the further I got up the food chain the more I could spend on items and it's just ballooned since then. What is it about Batman that makes just that whole world so collectible? I think the merchandising. Um, I mean I would say probably 95% or better is, is licensed you know, through DC, um, I've got some stuff that doesn't appear to be licensed, but um, the magnitude of things that have been manufactured, um, I, I have a, a small Superman collection just because I got so much Batman, and it, it, it just is dwarfed by it. Um, the, you know, the, the porcelain items, the statute items, the, the handmade items guys, you know, sell on the internet, um, you know, replicas of items from the television show, items that were actually on the TV show. Um, it, it's just it's so colorful and, and every piece is different, you know, the boxing, the packaging. Obviously a lot of Batman movies have been made. Do you have a favorite? Oh, I like all the movies. I just like that it, the, the story just keeps going and, and new generations of people get exposed to it. And uh, um, I guess there's a, a Ben Affleck's going to play Batman and there's a lot of stuff going around about that. Doesn't bother me at all. I just. Uh, I think it's wonderful there'll be another movie to see in a couple years and, and all the merchandising that goes along with it. So you're not bothered by Ben Affleck as Batman? The Batman character is bigger than anybody that plays him. You know, George Clooney wasn't terrible. It was just different. Right. It's Batman. I'm Batman. Your collection is definitely unbelievable. Uh, is there one item that's your kind of prized possession? Probably the outfit from the TV show. I had a guy make it 12 or 13 years ago. and, and um, that Batman is, is, I mean, that's why I like all of this. So that outfit's just kind of dear to my heart, I guess. Is there one Batman item that's the most rare thing you would love to find? Well, I think the holy grail of Batman collectibles is a Mark's utility belt. And they didn't make very many of them. They came in a uh, kind of a cardboard flat box, utility belt with a gun and some miscellaneous bad items and if you can find one intact in the box it's probably a $3,500 item but they're just not out there and I don't know that if I stumbled on one I mean it would be hard it, that would be a hard thing I, I don't know I, I, haven't, I haven't found one yet well Kevin thanks for taking the time to sit down with us and uh, share your collection well thanks for you know doing this this is awesome Thanks a lot, and um, to all our viewers out there, let us know if you have that prized item that Kevin is looking for uh, in your Batman collection. Subscribe to Cinefix, and we'll see you next time. I'm not bluffing. They know. They just don't care.
I don't know what happened. I was deep undercover in an investigation. You know, at the end of the day, Van Halen... Ro, twink it down. Hold on. Five second rule. I got you. Okay. So... How to become Emma Stone. Be born Emily Jean Stone on a golf course with balls literally flinging at your face every day. Do some local plays, be a jackass, and drop out of school. No, seriously, all it takes is one PowerPoint presentation set to Madonna's Hollywood.